we simply start by making a good old Bezier curve and we set it to poly. I move the Bezier curve by 1 on the x-axis just so it's nicely centered. We then add the terrifying geo nodes modifier and also create a new node setup. Now before we jump into the abyss we actually need a profile curve for the Bezier. I simply made one by creating a plane, doing some beveling, deleting the faces and converting the edges to curves. Now we can drag the profile curve into our geo node setup. Also by the way, make sure that your geo nodes is pinned otherwise it will constantly disappear when you select a new object. If we connect this all with the curve to mesh node, you will see that at the corners we don't have the proper radius. We can fix this by downloading a blender file and appending the curve to mesh node group. Now if we connect all the sockets and set even thickness, we can see that it's working. Here I'm just correcting the rotation of my profile. We fix the shading by creating a shade smooth node and unchecking shade smooth. Now, just like my life, we can see that our railing is sort of sloping downwards. We can easily fix this by setting a set curve normal node in front of everything and then setting it to Z up. I'm using a transform node to move up the railing by about one meter. Now I already modeled a wood baluster. You can use whatever mesh you want. You can use a sword, you can use whatever for the baluster. It will work with any mesh. And now we can group everything. Now we drag the baluster mesh into our geo node setup and we create a resample curve node and a instance on points node. Connect everything and join the geometries. We're still facing a problem though, and it's that the balusters start before the actual curve. And just like in life, you sometimes just need to trim the bad people. So we use the trim curve node. Also make a curve length node, make sure it's connected to your geometry. Put it into a math node, set it to subtract. Now make a value node and put it into the bottom socket of the math node and into the starting point. And we're basically done. The only thing that's left is to create UVs for our procedurally generated railing. Now before we start with the UVs, we need to create a set material node. This allows us to give the selected geometry a material. To UV unwrap this, make a UV unwrap node, a pack UV islands node, an edge angle node, a compare node set it to less than, make a split edges node, connect everything and put it into the store named attribute node. Change the data type to 2D vector, and set the domain type to face corner. And in our shader editor, remove the texture coordinate node and instead use a attribute node. And in the attribute node, we type in the exact same name that we set in the geo nodes editor. This still doesn't look right. This is because we still need to input a value into our compare node. You can think of the mesh splitting as making seams. We are splitting our mesh based on an angle and UV unwrapping those meshes. And since our mesh is split apart, we can't use a bevel modifier at the moment. To fix this, put a merge by distance at the very end and set it super low. Now you can use the bevel again. If you're too lazy to do all of that, you can get the railings I made for free using the Blender Kit add-on. Thanks for watching and see you next time.